is I put a drinking straw, very high tech, um, here to allow air to more quickly get into this middle channel. The reason why is because in my other tests, I was doing gradual changes, and this is a very fast change because we're going from this room, which is about 72 degrees uh, Fahrenheit, I think it was like 22 Celsius or something like that, to that room, which I've measured at Oh, it was six degrees Celsius, and I, I forget exactly what it was Fahrenheit. <clears throat> um, okay, anyway, <clears throat> so uh, yeah, uh, let's let's go on over there. So I'm gonna turn this around, and uh, oh, you'll note it is roughly neutral buoyancy. It's just a little heavy, right? Okay. Now we go into the garage. is if I let go it now has positive buoyancy why because the air inside the blimp is still warm uh, yeah it's still got a little bit of positive buoyancy there's an adjustment period while we're waiting for the air in uh, the gas inside the envelope to equalize with the temperature outside the envelope you'll also notice these have been moving so this line has been moving this way. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it in the video, but basically what's happening is, as this chamber, as it, uh, as it squeezes down, uh, the, the, the entire envelope is getting a little shorter. Uh, okay, and basically what we're looking for, we'll know that the temperature has equalized when it has negative buoyancy again, which seems to be about now. Okay, so that's how long it took for the gas to equalize. So what this tells you is, if you have one of these blimps and you are taking it outside, you're going through a rapid temperature change, it's going to pull up, or conversely, when you go back inside, it's going to pull down. And you need to be prepared for that so that it doesn't fly away. But yeah, okay, so yeah, you can see here, there's, there's a lot more wrinkles here. There, that's because when I was filming the video and when I was doing my tests, I was constantly getting in here, so I was messing that, this cover up a lot. Um, and then if I flip this over, you can see this side has a bit more wrinkles, you know, because there's only one rubber band left. Okay, now, so I think it's, it's roughly, it's pretty much done with these adjustments. It's now at the ambient temperature of this room. Okay, now we're gonna do the crash course. We're gonna take it to the actual outdoors, which is at negative six degrees Celsius. Um, yeah, quite a bit colder. So here is the great outdoors. Very cold. And again, you can shut that door. Yeah. And now it's pulling up pretty strongly, right? Now, this is a much higher temperature difference than I claimed this envelope could handle, right? Uh, but we're going to do it anyway, just so that I can show you that when it fails, it soft fails. So what I mean by that is if you exceed the capabilities of a typical envelope, um, it immediately becomes totally uncontrollable, right? Basically what will happen is the fins flop over and you're just done. Um, whereas this, it'll sag a little bit. It's getting, you know, pretty weak in here, right? Not a lot of pressure anymore, but you could probably bring this in for a landing, right? And then you can see here, this is now, you know, this is just not very taut at all. But like I say, you could probably bring this in for a landing, no problem, right? <clears throat> um, and there's not, it's not too much bulging either. In fact, I don't think there's any. What I mean is, 
Okay, I put these weights on either side, right? Because that's how it would be in a real blimp, right? And so it would bend like a banana <laughs> if there was a problem. Uh, and it's not really doing that, so that's nice. And I think, yeah, you can see the temperature has now roughly equalized because the blimp no longer has a lot of positive buoyancy. So yeah, so like I say, you know, technically, is that within the capabilities of the envelope? I say not really, because it no longer performs as advertised, you know? Like, uh, but, yeah, a soft fail, not a hard fail.